Hi, now we are solving the problem of Chemical Sciences CSIR NET December 2017. Okay, visit www.chemmasters.online or download mobile app Chemmasters to get more sample videos and uh, join a course on CSIR NET or Gate Chemistry if you are interested. Okay, just check the given problem. Considering the ambient behavior of thiocyanate ion, the most stable structure among the following is okay right here just read the given problem once again considering the ambient behavior of thiocyanate ion the most stable structure among the following is that means the most important priority is we need to give for ambient nature of thiocyanate ion okay which is which is the most important factor is going to determine the stable form of the four options okay right first check the first option in the first option palladium is having four coordinated ligands okay that means two of two of them are ambient thiocyanate ions and where the thiocyanate ions are coordinated with the palladium through the sulfurs now another bidentate ligand is there that is uh, here two phosphorus are connecting with methylene group and it is having two phenyl groups on each phosphorus okay so that means it is a bidentate ligand and it is have it is bridged by only one two phosphorus uh, groups are bridged by only one methylene group okay right check the second option in the second option the bidentate ligand is same but whereas palladium is coordinated with the ambient thiocyanate ion through the nitrogens okay just check the difference right and in the third option palladium and thiocyanate ions or the ligands are coordinated through the nitrogens and the bidentate phosphorus ligands are bridged through the two methylene groups and check the option D, whereas palladium is connected to the two ligands of thiocyanate, bidentate, uh, ambidentate thiocyanate ion here, and it is coordinated through the sulfurs of them. Okay, and the bidentate ligand, the two phosphorus are bridged through the three methylene groups. Okay, after observing all the four options carefully, now try to give an answer. In the first option, if you consider the first option, pellad that means a uh, phosphorus palladium phosphorus bond angle may be less. Okay, in our common, okay, if we see if we see blindly or if we have any basic point, we can simply say due to the one methylene bridge between the two phosphorus, the bond angle may be less in between the phosphorus palladium phosphorus okay and in the second option the bond angle is same as just first first structure because it is also having only methylene bridge between the two phosphorus now if we check third and four options the bridging methylene groups ch2s are increasing here two and here are three okay that means whenever here the bond angle between the phosphorus palladium phosphorus increases further from the first option to say third option to fourth option the bond angle is increasing okay so we may know we may not know the part, uh, particular bond order okay so based on this concept we can get some an, some idea okay right so but uh, in the first option the phosphorus palladium phosphorus bond angle is nearly 75 degrees and uh, in the second option is also same and in the third option the bond angle between phosphorus and palladium and phosphorus bond angles nearly 85 degrees and in the fourth option phosphorus palladium phosphorus bond angle is nearly 89 to 90 degrees okay right now just check the first option so whenever bond angle is less what happens from the palladium the two phosphorus ligands are just dragged towards them okay or towards away 
from the or they are far away from the two ligands two ambidentate thiocyanate ligands okay due to the less bond angle between the phosphorus palladium and phosphorus so the distance between the phenyl groups of the phosphorus and the thiocyanate ligands is more okay so that's why the steric repulsions between the thiocyanate ligands and phosphor or uh, phenyl groups of phosphorus are very less okay the steric repulsions are less okay now in the second option also the steric repulsion factor is same as just like first option okay now we need to check for third and fourth options that means structures so whenever the bond angle is increases what happens the phosphorus moves away that means do pass two phosphorus moves away whenever they moves away the phenyl groups comes nearer to the thiocyanate ligands whenever the phenyl groups comes near to the thiocyanate ambidentate thiocyanate ligands the steric repulsions increases so it leads to the less stability of the particular structure okay and if we see the option 4 the due to the increasing of more bond angle between the phosphorus palladium phosphorus then the phenyl groups of the phosphorus comes near more nearer to the thiocyanate ligands then steric repulsions will be more then the structure is very less stable than the c okay so these two options are simply eliminated now we need to consider option a and option b okay so first factor is uh, completed that means bond angle factor now we need to check for ambidint ambidintate nature of thiocyanate ion in the first structure if you see palladium just remind or uh, remember that palladium is a soft acid according to hsab principle hard acid soft uh, hard and soft acid basis principle palladium is a soft acid now ncs is a ambidentate ligand right so that means it can connect or it can coordinate through sulfur or through the nitrogen to the metal okay now in the first structure the ambidentate thiocyanate ligand is coordinated with the palladium through the sulfurs okay the two ligands are coordinated to the palladium through the sulfurs okay and we know that just remind so whenever thiocyanate coordinate through the sulfur to the palladium it is simply soft base okay thiocyanate whenever it coordinates to the metal through the sulfur then it is considered as soft base if the thiocyanate con connects through the nitrogen then it is hard base okay so in the first structure palladium is soft acid and the, the ambidentate thiocyanate ligands which are coordinated through the sulfur or soft bases and from the hsab principle whenever soft acid soft base combination or hard acid hard base combination is there the complex or the compound is very stable okay so that's why option a is very stable now check option b here in the option b palladium is connected through the two uh, ambient thiocyanate ligands through the nitrogens here okay as we said whenever thiocyanate coordinate to the metal through the nitrogen it is a it act as a strong base but palladium is a soft acid and the ligands here hard bases so whenever soft acids and uh, hard bases or hard acids connected with the soft bases the complex which is formed or the compound which is formed from them is unstable so that's why option b is also eliminated and here option a or the structure a is the correct sta most stable structure among the four options okay right thank you